Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. I'm back for another Yeti 400 uh, product review. Here I have my brand new uh, GoPower 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. And as I've mentioned in a previous video, the inverter on the Yeti 400 is missing because it was broken, so I took it out so it wouldn't be a fire hazard. I'm replacing it with this inverter. So I just thought it would be kind of cool at this point to uh, charge up something useful, put it through its paces, so to speak. So let's see. Let's see what, you, what we got here to charge. Yeah, that'll do. Let's charge up a boosted board. This is a uh, boosted board dual plus. So it's a 100 watt hour battery. And actually, before we plug this in, let me get out the, uh, the app so you can see how not charged the boosted board is. I'll just turn it on there. All right, there you go. So 23% charged. I just rode it around the neighborhood a little bit. 5.2 miles on the charge, and uh, let's go ahead and charge this bad boy up and see what happens. Everything's plugged in, so at this point we will just turn on the power. And I will leave that right there. And in my experience, you can see the charge rise pretty quickly on this once it gets going. 24%. There we go, 25%. All right, tell you what, rather than watch the paint dry, uh, why don't we take a look at the, the wattage draw on this thing? So I've got my uh, Ryobi fake kilowatt meter plugged in there, and you can see that it's drawing 128 watts right now as it charges up the battery. Looking at the boosted board charge meter as we do this, you can see that it's up to 29%. It's just happily chugging away at 128 watt draw. No big deal, 30%. I'll have to go back and look at the video. I don't remember what the clock was reading on the Ryobi. I don't think it's accurate time, but uh, it says 1624 right now, and we are at 47% charged. Charges up pretty quickly, uh, less than an hour for the boosted board. We'll check back in when, once it's charged some more. There you go, clock is reading 1629 and we're at 58%. We're at uh, 1637, it's drawing 129 watts and we're at 76% charge. All right, it is 1646 and we're at 100% charge. The green light's on on the boosted board. Man, I never, I never get over how quickly this thing charges. It's incredible. Uh, yeah, so... Oddly enough, we're still drawing 130 watts, but it's green, which means that, you know, it's fully charged. And there we go. The wattage dropped off for a second to zero. I don't know if that's like a maintenance pulse or what. Weird. Pretty amazing. There you have it. That's how to solar charge your, uh, your boosted board with a Yeti 400 and an external inverter if you need one. I mean, you don't have to have one. It, it comes with one usually, but if you happen to fry one, you can always buy your own and plug it in. All right, this is Jesse with Create This. Hope you found this useful and uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe.